New tonight, a senior class prank goes too far in Union County, and now authorities are looking to charge the students responsible for destroying school property. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis joins us now in the studio. Morgan, how much damage are we talking? Well, Brian, the early estimates put damages in the twenty to thirty thousand dollar range. The Union County Sheriff's Office is saying this was no senior class prank. This was vandalism, and fortunately for authorities, it was all posted on TikTok. In a video posted for everyone to see, students are seen walking through the halls of Sun Valley High School, trashing the place and taking pride in it. It's a pure criminal act. This is not a, a senior prank is something that we're used to. A senior prank is not this. It was more than just toilet paper, flour dumped in the hallway, a busted exit sign, classroom furniture thrown into piles, or as stated in the video, demolished classroom, and that wasn't even the worst of it. Pouring honey and syrup over electrical panels, very expensive pieces of uh, electric, electronic equipment such as printers, scanners, copiers. Initial estimates are that these teens caused twenty to thirty thousand dollars in damage over the weekend. We've seen senior pranks, we've seen the toilet paper in the trees, things like that, but we've never seen anything that's caused this level of property damage. Lieutenant James May believes social media has exacerbated the destructive nature of senior pranks. Social media, while it's got a lot of positive uses, um, has made this more of a competitive event. One part of the video shows four students walking around with another one taking the video. At one point, one person's face makes it on camera. The Union County Sheriff's Office warns these antics will result in arrests. Injury to real property and injury to personal property. We also initially in the investigation we considered um, felony breaking and entering. Um, there's some trespassing charges that are applicable. Now they have identified several so far. They plan to review the footage to see who is all involved and who specifically caused the property damage. They're hoping by midweek to charge those responsible. Alicia. Thank you.